Hello friends, I'm glad to see you on our channel. And today I want to present one of our latest development. This is the MS-550 device. What is it for? I will tell you. But first we will study some features of checking the electric power steering system of Asian cars. The main problem is that while checking the steering rack of Asian cars as Toyota, Honda, Hyundai and others, we also need a car control unit for these racks. It makes some difficulties, because, as you know, the control unit is located in the control panel. And in order to dismantle it, it is sometimes necessary to remove the torpedo itself. So no need additional control units because this device is the universal control unit. You will save your money. For example, in order to check the steering rack of Lexus AS or GS or LS450, we need a control unit, as I told before. And you should buy it to this time. The unit price is about $100, then it's not cheap. By the way, it could have some defects inside, as a damaged transistor or another problem. With the help of the MS-550 device, we refuse to purchase individual control units and can check any rack of Asian cars. And now I will show you how to check the rack with the help of the MS-561 and this unit using the corresponding cable. Let's turn to table. There are three racks on the table, and I'd like to tell a few words about them. The first is the rack of Honda Jazz until 2008. The second is the rack of Honda Accord 9, 2012. The third is well-known rack of Lexus GS and AS. These cars have the same racks, the differences are only in control units. Before showing you how to use the device, I want to say a few words about the rack itself, in order to understand what are we going to check. A typical electric rack has the following elements. An electric motor with the corresponding power connector for it, a torque sensor and electric motor shaft position sensor. This is very important, because the power of the rack itself depends on it. Then, with the help of our device, we can check all these elements separately or all together. I want to add that the electric motor can be located not only inside of the rack as on Lexus, but also a little outside, and it transmits a rotational moment through the gas system. Electric motors may differ from each other. For example, on the Honda Jazz there is a single-phase electromotor that doesn't have a shaft position sensor. On the Honda Accord there is a three-phase motor that you can see, and the readings of the motor shaft sensor are very important for this motor. First we check the rack of Honda Jazz. For this we need a cable, the MS-550 device, and the well-known controller MS-561. We connect the power supply of the electric motor, the torque sensor, the appropriate connector to the MS-550, and to the controller. That's all. The program automatically identified the connected track model. Check the picture and click Next. Here we have two diagrams. The first is about the power supply of the torque sensor. The second is about the power supply of the rack motor itself. In addition, the rack itself is schematically presented, where the electric motor, the electric motor shaft position sensor and a torque sensor are shown on it. Also, there are icons that allow you to check the rack elements separately or to test all components. 
Now click the test all components icon and you can see how the program itself starts to check the rack motor by moving the shaft from one position to another. Here, the electric motor test is over. Now the program offers to check the torque sensor. For this I need clamps. And I press the continue test button. I need to rotate the drive shaft from one direction to another. That's all. The test is finished. As a result, the following description is given. Motor test is finished. Motor is OK. Torque sensor test is finished. Torque sensor is OK. It is also displayed on the schematic image of the rack itself with blue connections. That's all. We finished to check this rack. The only question you may have, why the position sensor of the electric motor is shown in grey color, means it's not active. As I told before, this rack doesn't contain an electric motor sensor. Here is the usual brush type electric motor that doesn't need to use the sensor itself. This test is over. Now we can connect the Honda Accord 9 rack. I disconnect the previous rack and connect the next one. As you can see, the program automatically identified the rack model. Click the next button. There are three diagrams because the electric motor of this rack is equipped with the electric motor shaft position sensor. Therefore, there is a new diagram is called position sensor output. We will test all components. I press the test button and waiting for finishing. In this situation the shaft doesn't move, but the power on the electric motor is supplied, that we understand according to this diagram. And the program asks us to turn the sensor. I connect the clamps and rotate the rack sensor in different directions while testing. So the test is over. The test results are positive, the blue connections are shown in the schematic diagram. The report shows all. Motor test is finished, motor is OK, position sensor test is finished, position sensor is OK, torque sensor test is finished, torque sensor is OK. Also, I'd like to say that we have such a strip. If we need to check the electric motor itself, then we can apply power to it and, as you can see, it starts moving. from one to another direction. That's enough, we can move to the next rack. I disconnect the Honda Accord rack and connect the next one of Lexus AS3 2013. I take it closer. We connect the power of the electric motor, the shaft position sensor of the electric motor, and the torque sensor. I connect the MS550 device and connect it to the controller. The rack is connected and automatically determined by the program.
We press the next button and see well-known interface of the previous tests and press the test all components button. So the electric motor is checked and working as it is written in the program. Next, we check the torque sensor with our participation. We put the clamps and press the start button and force on the torque sensor. The rack is pretty tight, but in principle the test passes more or less normally. Pay attention to the power supply schedule of the torque sensor. Test results are here. Motor test is finished, motor is OK, position sensor test is finished, position sensor is OK, torque sensor test is finished, torque sensor is broken. As you can see on the rack schematic image, the torque sensor is broken, that is also matched in the report. There is a two-channel power supply of the sensor itself, and now, according to the schedule, we see that only one channel is working. What is wrong about the sensor, it is the topic of the next video. In this video, our task was to show how easy to check the rack of Asian cars and determine the fault. So here we finish the rack checking with the help of MS-550. What I wanted to say before finish. MS-550 allows you to not only simplify the electric racks checking of Asian cars, but also to save money on the purchase of the separated units, as I told before. Also, you can't be sure about device conditions before buying it. That's all. So, I'd like to say you goodbye. Thank you for watching us. If you like this video, please put likes, subscribe to our channel, and see you soon. Good luck with your professional activities.